Amidst worldwidely spreading COVID-19, there is one country stands out from the rest, South Korea. In late February to early March, the number of new coronavirus infections in the country once overwhelmingly spiked up. But now, the number of new cases dropped sharply, and many countries are asking for South Korea's cooperation in order to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in its own country. As of March 25th, a total of 47 countries have asked about importing South Korea-made coronavirus test kits. 39 countries requested the kits as humanitarian aid, and such calls have been rising as Seoul has recently been garnering global recognition for its diagnostic capabilities, quarantine efforts, and medical infrastructure. The government has so far helped the United Arab Emirates to purchase 51,000 sampling kits used in coronavirus tests, while Romania and Colombia imported 20,000 and 50,000 diagnostic kits. Romania even sent a NATO aircraft to South Korea to pick up protective gear which they plan to use to contain the spread of the new coronavirus. South Korea's fast testing kits and well-built public health infrastructure, such as drive-through COVID-19 test centers, are known to have led the country to a relatively low fertility rate despite an increase in new COVID-19 cases. As of yesterday, President Trump has requested South Korea's medical equipment support to fight the COVID-19 pandemic in the U.S. Trump showed his interest in the downward trend of infections in South Korea in a phone conversation with President Moon Jae-in and said the country is doing very good. Moon replied that his government would provide maximum support if available, and Trump said he would make immediate action for the Food and Drug Administration's approval within today. Now, with the slowing spread of the new coronavirus in the Northeast Asian nation, Laos plans to resume commercial flight service to South Korea soon, and the Czech Republic has decided to lift a ban on the operation of direct flights to the Northeast Asian nation.